The first two operations on polynomials we're going to talk about are addition and subtraction. And the key point is for any polynomial, if you want to add or subtract them, you must have like terms. Okay? And terms are like if they have the same variables to the same power. So what I want you to think about is the power factor portion, the power portion, which is the variable raised to a power, that defines what kind of term it is. So basic polynomial addition. I'm going to make a couple trinomials. Okay, polynomial addition. If I give you two polynomials and ask you to add them, they're either going to be written horizontally or I will write two polynomials separately. And you're only allowed to combine like terms. Okay, this set of parentheses right here has a 1 in front of it. This set of parentheses has a 1 in front of it. Those are part of the invisible ones that I talk about in order of operations. So if I were to distribute that one, the parentheses would just disappear. So that's one thing I want you to realize here, that if it's just an addition sign here with no other numbers in front of the parentheses, you can just get rid of the parentheses. Okay? That only works if that number in between there was a plus sign. So now what I want to do is I want to find the same variables to the same power. So I'm going to want to write this in standard form for my final answer. So I'm going to look for the highest degree terms I have here. Okay, and that highest degree term would be a 5x cubed. I'm going to combine those. The next highest degree is my squareds. I have negative 2 of them and 2 more of them. Then I have some x's, 3 and 5. And then I have some constant terms. 5 and negative 3. So my final answer is going to be the 5x cubes, negative 2x squared plus 2x squared, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so I'm not even going to write a purple term here. 3x plus 5x is 8x, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, a lot of students get to that point, but then they try to combine things in here. I cannot combine anything else because x cubes and x's are different types of terms because they have different powers. Okay, where students have the most problem is subtracting polynomials. So I'm going to write a couple polynomials down. So there's one minus okay again in front of this set of parentheses is a one one times anything is just itself so this set of parentheses can go away in front of that parentheses you have a negative one so that negative 1 applies to every single term inside the parentheses. And where students mess this up, they put the negative in front of the first term, but they forget to negate what's after that. So my recommendation is if you have a subtraction problem, rewrite it as an addition problem by distributing the negative 1 in there. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm just going to copy the first part. 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x minus 5, and then distribute the negative 1. Negative 1 times 2x cubed is negative 2x cubed. Negative times a positive is a negative 3x squared. 
a negative times a negative is a positive 4x, and a negative times a positive is a negative 2. Once you distribute, it is now a basic addition problem, which just means combine the like terms. Again, the highest degree terms are my cubes. I have two of them minus two of them, so I have zero of them. So my final answer isn't going to have any cubes. Then my squareds, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7x squared. My x's, I have 5 plus 4, which is 9. And then my constant terms, I have negative 5 minus 2, which is minus 7. Notice we do not write the term if something disappears. I did not write the cube term here, and I did not write the x squared term here because I had zero of them. I don't need to write them. And my final answers are in standard form. Again, warning, that negative applies to everything inside the parentheses. Recommendation is you rewrite it without the parentheses and distribute it before you do your work. Okay? If you're careful, you can do it without distributing it. Just You have to do it you know, one step at a time. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0x cubed. Minus 4x squared minus 3x squared is minus 7x squared. 5x minus a minus 4x is 5x plus 4x, which is 9x. And negative 5 minus the 2 is negative 7. Okay? I do not require any work to be shown to go from here to here or here to here. Up to the point where I grade your first quiz, if you are messing this up, I am going to require this step to be seen for your work. Okay? I expect you guys to be able to identify what are like terms and to be able to add and subtract polynomials just like I expect you to be able to add and subtract basically any single digit number. Okay? Uh, most of these things will end up being addition and subtraction of single digit numbers and then you just write what the, the variable to its power is after it.